Hi, it's Bro here. Are you a Star Guardian yet? I mean, you don't need to be one, but better buy all skins if you want to finish the missions under 200 hours. Now, let's try to get as much free stuff as we can while we bitch about Riot, shall we? There are two types of event missions. The first one is the main story. It features a cute visual novel where you follow Akali on her path to become a Star Guardian. The story plays out over a series of four chapters, each three acts long. Riot was extremely creative when they drafted these missions. There are 12 missions, one for each act, and the act requirements are exactly the same for every chapter. The act 1 requires zero starlight. You just need to click through the story or choose skip all. Act 2 and 3 require 45 and 90 starlight respectively. More on the starlight later. A new chapter opens every week and don't worry, they will all be available until August 15th. So, the rewards. Act 1 always gives 100 blue essence. Rewards for other acts include tokens, icons, emotes, orb and more. Now, the starlight. You get it for playing. That's it. Wins grant 50% more and you also get a bonus for playing a champion from the Star Guardian universe or for playing along Star Guardian skins. The 90 starlight can be achieved in as little as 5 games. By the way, playing versus AI doesn't count. Alright, let's see the Star Guardian stories. Their concept is similar to the main story, only way more grindy. There are 24 missions, 3 levels for each of the 8 new Star Guardians. The level 1 requires 5 bonds and rewards you with an icon. Level 2 asks for 250 and grants the champions eternals. And if you hate yourself and you want to do the ultimate bondage, you will need 500 bonds which will get you an emote. Now, the bonds. You get some across the board for every game. Plus, there are bonus bonds which are earned only for a specific champion. You get them for playing that champion, their new skin and for finishing their repeating missions. All missions can theoretically be finished in 52 games, but there is literally no way you are getting even close to that number. Expect more like 150 games or even more. What was that? You don't want to spend 200 hours to get some freaking emotes? Well, hopefully you won't forget to feed hundreds of poros in all those games. 